Hello and welcome back to Grim Fandango. Um, this game is great. I'm glad I'm replaying it. Last time we got our special work order and Glottis was able to repair the car and we went to the poisoning and got our client who was an angry little man that we uh, trapped in a coffin. Um, yeah, so now we have to try and get ourselves a premium client otherwise we're kicked off the job. So, without further ado, let's try and find how to do that. Let's go talk to Ava. Hello. Um, oh, we can say that again. Hey, you missed a great poisoning. Yeah, and you missed a great client. Domino came back from there with a nun. Equally, I got a tiny little man with a mean temper and no commission. Well, well, we had this at conversation. Least you don't work for one. <laughs> Any, Any messages, messages for me? Besides the one about the poisoning? Yeah. I only have one other message for you, Manny. I'm not your secretary. I don't take your messages. So get it through your thick skull and stop forwarding your phone to me. <laughs> All right. But that sounded more like four messages to me. <laughs> it did sound like four messages. Um, in my heart. In my heart, though, you're still my secretary. Manny, what are you talking about? I was never your secretary, even when you were on top. I got one boss, same as you, Don Copel. When we were on top, yes, we used to be at the top. Obviously, something's happened. Um, Come on, I know you work for another man besides Don. Well, what are you talking about? I know you take memos for Hurley sometimes. Ah, oh, Manny, just beat it, will ya? All right. Well, I gotta go hit the bricks. Gotta go hit the bricks. She seemed kind of agitated by us asking her about the other job, didn't she? Um, what can we do? We can go. Um, let's go downstairs. Into the lobby. It's a very nice lobby. Day of the Dead apparently has a lot of money. Oh! You and your fancy suits and your nose holes way up in the air, sticking your empty beer bottles down the message tubes. How fancy is that? Huh? Don't you boys upstairs realize the tube switcher is a sophisticated and delicate piece of machinery? Huh? You think you're better than me? No. Good. Jeez, he's not happy. Where'd he come from? He came from here. Whoa, what is that? Ooh. That's not on fire. <laughs> That's not on fire. You you are right there, sir. Um We can't really access that. Is that what is that thing? It's the sophisticated and delicate hub of all the communications here in the department. Oh, is that the pneumatic tube system? As a rule, I never touch anything more sophisticated and delicate than myself. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, we can't really do anything there. We have a fire extinguisher, though. Whatever that's for. And where did he end up going? He's in here. Whoa. Oh, let's be put him in one of those. Well, you in one of these? Must have picked them up already. <laughs> For those who enjoy no hassle travel. Four years locked in a box with nothing to read but a mug. No, I don't think that sounds very good. One of the chemicals for our packing material comes out of there. One of the chemicals for our packing material comes out of there. Is that right? So we have these balloons. It's a deflated balloon. Uh, I'm pretty sure we can fill this up. That's not what balloons are for. Yes. And then we can get the other one in... Where's their other one? Hello? Where are you, Mr... D there he is. Mr. Worm! Let's get That's that. That's not what balloons are for. And we fill that up. So we have one of each. Shove it down our shirt. <laughs> so ridiculous, I love it. Um, what else can we do? We can go outside again. We can go back into Don Copel's office because he's still out. Because he's not even remotely... Uh, let's go up to his office. Yeah, 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 yeah. We still can't do anything with this. Hello? Hello? Nothing. Nothing, nada, zip. Nothing. Let's go up here. Let's go back up. It look, but it's really just a bunch of cheap ties tied together. <laughs> cheap ties. Did, did my head just double then? Look, I had two heads for a second there. 
All right, what are we doing? Ooh, ooh. Oh, is he? Has he locked his door now? It's locked. Oh, he's gotten wise. Can we get round here? Ooh. No way. If I go any farther, Don will see me and call the staff shrink to come and talk me down. Damn. So we can't do that yet. The drapes are drawn. Don must be in there napping. So they are back now. So that's not good. Can I do anything with this? I remember throwing it earlier, but I couldn't do anything with it. I can throw it down. Let's just leave it there. I don't think I can do anything with that yet. We have to attach it to that ladder for memory. But we don't have anything to attach it to. Not yet, anyway. We've got, like, bread and stuff, but... Alright, what else can we do? Hello? Back to Angry Clown Man. Some festival, huh? Yeah, yeah, pretty busy. My carpal tunnel syndrome's really acting up. But you don't have any tendons. Yeah, well, you don't have a tongue, but that doesn't seem to shut you up now, does it? <laughs> I have to go. Oh my god. That sound makes me want to kill somebody. You too? Why do you even do it then, buddy? That's a bit confusing to me. He's an angry little clown, isn't he? Is it? Is there, a, is there a word for that? Like a balloonist? I feel like I'm missing an easy word for that idea, but I don't know. Um, we got a fire extinguisher, but there's no fires. But I think because we we need access to the to good mail that's meant to go to Dom, right? Because Dom's going to get all the good clients. So we have to do something about clogging the mail system. And getting that dude downstairs really angry at us. So I think we can put in both of the chemicals, which we know when they connect. Let's shove that down. When the two chemicals connect, they get all clogged and gross. So put that in. <laughs> Look out below. Is that going to do anything? So it's going to grab our... Okay, so that exploded. So now we grab the other one. Where are you? Not bread. I don't need baguettes at the moment. There it is. So use and shove that down there as well. And the chemicals will both explode and they'll mix and they'll create a bunch of pandemonium in the mail system. There we go. Forcing our dude downstairs. That doesn't sound good. No. <laughs> no, it doesn't. But it is good for us. Go, go, go. Go, 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 Manny. Go, go, go. Quick. Server's See. down again. What else is new? What do you expect? Like, I caused it. Uh, down here, down here. Come on. We've just caused pandemonium. We've got limited time. Quick. To the mail room. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> of course. Come on, Manny. Run those legs. Run those legs. Ah, there he is. Um. Oh. Um. Hi. Yeah. Let's I'm not getting him. any messages. Is the server down? This is their idea of a joke. They think it's funny. I'd like to jam their tubes with packing material. See how they like that. It was probably Domino. So you're saying the server is down, is that it? The server is not down. It's never down. It's just temporarily unavailable while I'm doing some maintenance, that's all. Okay, that sounds like it's down. So how long <laughs> is it going to be down? With a job like this, you can never tell. Probably hours. Or until no one's around to see you sneak out, eh? Whichever comes first. Nice. Yeah, can I get in there? Can I squeeze in there just for a sec? Are you kidding? This is a highly secured area. No one's allowed in here who ain't me. So we can't get in there while he's in there. Until we have to wait for him to leave. But he'll probably lock up the door. Um, yeah, what is so, so special? special about you? I, sir, am an elemental spirit summoned from the land of the dead itself. Yeah, yeah, let me guess. You were given one purpose, one skill, one desire. Fixing pneumatic tube switchers. No, I was created to run the elevators, but they put in those dang motion detectors and put me out of work. 
Oh, well, sorry to hear that, buddy. Um, who would do such a terrible who thing? Who would do a terrible thing like this? It's those punks in the mailroom. They think this baby is going to put them out of a job. And they're right. <laughs> you know, I really can't... Um, I really think it's clean you enough. I really think it's clean enough. Oh, it's clean enough to run, all right. I'm just fiddling around to be safe. You know, gotta cover my ass. Yes, yes you do. Yes, you definitely do, sir. Um, how did you get in just there? Just curious. How'd you get in there? I squeezed down one of these tubes like a pixie. <laughs> what do you think I got in here? Through the door, just like you. I squeezed through. Chatty Cathy. I got a lot of tubes to flush here. Hey, me too. I'll let you go. So we need to access Dom's mail. Oh, nice. Oh, I can't move. Hello? I can't do anything. Oh, not again. Oh. Uh, 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 uh. You trying to blow this joint sky high? That's a magnesium compound fire extinguisher. Spray that on this packing foam, and we'll both be riding the giant Roman candle. Out so of why here. is it in the room? What? Why would they put something so dangerous in here? I guess they didn't expect this room to be full of hazardous waste. But what else would come through here? How else would a fire be started? Well, he wasn't very nice either. No one in this game seems to be very nice. <laughs> Um, I think we can do a cheeky little thing here with the door. I've just locked an open door. Strange, yes. yet symbolically compelling. It is. Alright, let's leave. He's just taking a card out of there too. Ha ha ha! Thwarted! He looks like he looks like if um if Patrick died and came back from SpongeBob. <laughs> All right, let's quickly jump in here and uh, give it a look. How do I get in? Hello? Oh, there. That is not how you open a door. What what was that? <laughs> that just looked bizarre. And we can have a look at this. That red tube looks familiar. It does. It's from Don's office, but we have an ace up our sleeve. <laughs> we can use this to access that and stop his mail from coming through. There it is. Died of chicken pox, time of death, yada yada yada. Aha! Positive attributes. Volunteered time reading stories to dying children. You can't get more good than that. That's good. That's really good. I think you're it, Mercedes Golomar. I think you're the one for me. Here we go. Cutscene! Gladys, are you loco? What got into you? I was a company company. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's even better company now. Look at his eyes. He's all bloodshot. <laughs> We're going to beat Domino to his own client. <laughs> he's like a dog, but he's head out the window. I love it. Buenos dias. You're not the nurse? No. You're not here to give me my medication? No, but I am here to ease your pain. Guess they couldn't save me, huh? No, but there's still a chance you could save me. That's a lot of responsibility, Mr. Calavera. What makes you think I've been all that good? Miss Colomar. Meche, please. Meche. Meche. I can see it in your face and in your file here, where it says you're entitled to a first-class ticket to... Nowhere. Nowhere? What? Did I do something wrong? Not according to your bio. It was spotless. At least the part I read was. I'm not sure I like the implication, Mr. Ooh. Calavera. <laughs> Very good point. Um, are you sure? Yeah. Are you sure you're Mercedes Colomar? Yes. Would you like to see my birthmark? Sure, where is it? It'll be wherever her skin is, which obviously isn't with her. Sure, where is it? It's wherever you guys put my skin. <laughs> exactly. Um. Anything about your past you haven't told me? Quite a bit, considering I've told you nothing. True. Did you do much... Did you kill much when you were alive? Did you kill much when you were alive? Very little. Uh, never killed anybody? Never killed anybody? I have to confess, I never killed anybody. 
Not even a teensy. Not even a teensy <laughs> bit of killing. Maybe I just wasn't trying hard enough. Jeez. Uh, main to animals. Main to animals. Oh no, I love animals. Once, when I was volunteering at an animal shelter, I just stop right there. <laughs> She's gonna boast about how good she is. Um, cheated on her husband. Never cheated on your husband. Mr. Calavera, there's no ring on my finger. There's no skin on it either. I guess you'll just have to trust me then. True. Uh, cheat on your Ever taxes. cheated on your taxes? I've never paid taxes in my life. Aha. Uh -huh. I've never made enough money to be taxed. You know, it's mostly been all volunteer work. Uh huh. <laughs> Give me some dirt. Work with me, Meche. Give me some dirt. Well, I could do something bad right now if that would help. Jesus. You wouldn't count. Sorry. Uh, shoplifter. Are you a big shoplifter? Well, they accused me of it once. Oh, really? But it wasn't my fault. That puppy followed me out of the store. Oh. Uh, nothing. Litter? Oh, Manny, is that the best you can do? Definitely. I give up. Don't say that, Manny. Excuse me, but I have to go straighten this mess out. Sorry to be so much trouble, Mr. Calavera. It's no trouble, but please call me Manny. That's right, Manny and Meche. So obviously something's up with the client. Something is not right. Is this going to give us any more information about her? I just don't understand it. Why can't I find anything good for Mechi? Seems like these... Everything's out of your control there, Manny. There's a reason for I'm your demotion. I let you down, Manny. Aww. That sounds so sad about it. Oh, let's go straighten this out. Domino's door is locked. Let's go in here. Oh! Hey, funny bones! In my office! Now! You vandalized company property in order to obtain secret information so you could take your illegally modified company car and your unregistered driver and run Domino here off the road! Yes! All in order to steal a client from her legitimate agent! There's nothing legitimate about this place. You give all the good clients to Domino. Manny, now I'm embarrassed for you. You've embarrassed the whole office. I'm going to call the woman in here so you can apologize to her yourself. Ava, send in Ms. Colomar, please. She left about 15 minutes ago, sir. She said she had a long walk ahead of her and she wanted to get started. Walking? <laughs> Why does she think she has to walk? That's the best package I could find for her. <laughs> now you see why I give all the good clients the domino. That woman was a saint and a shoe in for a double end ticket that she's not going to get because you just couldn't find it. And now, because of your little stunt, she's out there on her own, walking by herself through the petrified forest, facing the demons of the underworld alone and unprotected. This is her reward after That's not a good. lifetime of hardship and public service. Her destiny stolen by some overreaching salesman looking for a fat commission he didn't deserve. Jesus, he's piling it on. Get in there and stay put until the boys downtown tell us what they want done with you. Someone's going to take the fall for this, Calavera, and it ain't going to be me. It ain't going to be me. His head did a weird, like, swivel thing as he left there. Well, we're in the thick of it. We're in the poo. We've messed up a, a very important client. But we can get out of this situation, as always. What's here? What's that? I don't see anyone out there. Doesn't open. Can't get out of the window. What's this thing? Ooh, ick. It came out like soft serve ice cream. But judging by the smell, I think it's auto body filler. It's what? That sounds horrible. Auto body filler? What? Um. Can I. What do I, how can I get out of here? Fire extinguisher? No, I don't know. Can I do anything with this? It stays here. It looks like it dispenses something called Philodent. What's Philodent? Hey! Is anybody Just out there? Try the old good knock technique. Oh, there is. Hello. So, Manuel, have you thought about what you have done? Um, who's out there? Who's out there? I'm you. Or rather, I was you. Years ago. Yeah, well, I'm me now, so get lost. Um, I'm think thinking about, about getting, getting out. out and getting even. That's it. The only way out, Manuel, is to be taken back in. If you are truly still loyal to this company, declare it loudly. The management might hear and stick you right back in their fold. Stick in their fold? My loyalty is to the DOD, believe it or not. 
Okay. The DOD runs a crooked game, and I intend to prove it. You would do that? That could cause this agency a lot of trouble. I'm gonna blow the lid off this place. I'm gonna blow the lid off this place. Young man, you are an enemy of the Department of Death. Welcome to the club. Salvador Limones and guest. And guest. Oh, we're here, of course. To the headquarters of the LSA. LSA? The Lost Souls Alliance. We're a small group, Manuel. We're always looking for new soldiers. To do what exactly? And there's Ava. We in our intelligence unit. You know Eva, of course. Manny? I was once a reaper like yourself, Manuel. But I uncovered a web of corruption in our beloved Department of Death. I have reason to believe that the Bureau of Acquisitions is cheating the very souls it was chartered to serve. I think someone is robbing these poor, naive souls of their rightful destinies, leaving them no option but to march on a treacherous trail of tears. Jeez, a treacherous trail of like tears. What an alliteration. Like babies. What's your evidence? That's where you come in, Manuel. Or should I call you? Agent Calavera. Manny suits me fine. I'm not looking to join any military organization, Sal. I just want my job back so I can work off my time and get out of this dump. Well, you won't even be able to get out of this city without my help. Which means, of course, you won't be able to find that woman and you'll never get your job back. When you're ready to join the cause, Manuel, come talk to me. We might be of some use to each other. I hope so. Okay, we are down in this secret organization below the DOD, which is cool. It's a slide projector. Can I turn it off? Manuel, I was looking at that. <laughs> I can turn it off, but he's not happy. It's in there. It won't budge. It opens for members of the LSA only. All right, chill out. Let's talk to Ava. So you're not really a secretary. I'm a spy, Manny. Well, that's the last time we use that temp agency. <laughs> Any messages for Any me? Any messages for me? Yes. Join or die. But I'm already... Again! Um, you're gonna get me out of town, they're gonna sprout me. Doesn't Kapal wonder where you are? Don and Domino are both locked up in Don's office with some bigwig from downtown. Some fatty in a fez. Oh. Hmm. Who is the fat man, I wonder? And how does he fit into this sinister puzzle? <laughs> I don't know. Um, how long have you been a spy? How long have you been a spy? Salvador recruited me about a year ago. I couldn't resist him. He's just so noble. Gotta get me out of town. Hey, you gotta get me out of town. They're gonna sprout me. You Sprouting, can't leave, that's right. We need access to the DOD computer network if we're ever gonna find out what's going on. And we can't access without a salesman like you. The computer IDs you when you log on. How does it do that? Fingerprints? I don't have any. Your teeth, Manny. Haven't you ever noticed your computer scanning your teeth when you log on? I thought that was just a power search. We need your teeth, Manny. We can't let you go. Sorry. You need my teeth. What are you working on there? I'm trying to get this radio working so we can use it in the field. But it looks pretty hopeless. Salvador's right. We need good old-fashioned homing pigeons to communicate with our field agents. You have field agents? Homing pigeons? No, it's just Sal and me right now. But someday, Manny. So, you won't help me out of here? Sorry. I'll help you out, but not your teeth. Think it over. Jeez. Okay, I have to pull my teeth out of my head just for you. Is that right? All right let's talk to you. Hello, Salvador. Open that door, Sal. I got places Open to go. Open that door, Sal. I got places to go. Does that mean you're ready to join us? Um. What do okay, I have to do? I'm in. Let what me know. What do I have to do? I'm going to build an underground army of souls to fight the injustice I have seen in El Marro. Communication will become vital as the Lost Souls Alliance spreads out. We'll need messengers we can trust. Okay. Yes. Um. Messenger. You want me to be your messenger? No, my boy. Our numbers are small and our agents are too valuable to risk that sort of work. History shows only one messenger to be of use to a cause like ours. Carry your pigeons. If I grab pigeons off the roof, will you let me go? <laughs> if I grab some pigeons off the roof, will you let me go? No, I need to raise them from birth, Agent Calavera. I need you to bring me their eggs. Their eggs? Um, you're keeping me here because you need eggs. You're keeping me here because you need the eggs? Why are you still here, Calavera? Go get me an Air Force before it hatches. 
Do you know something I don't? You know something I don't know? Have you ever wondered why your clients, even your best clients, never seem to qualify for the packages you know they deserve? Yes. My last client in particular, Mechi. Well, they all did qualify, Manuel. Especially her. But somehow, somebody with access to the files has stolen their just rewards. Their sweet hereafters. Their tickets on the number nine? Precisamente, amigo. Why would they, yeah, what would they do with the ticket? What would they do with the tickets? A ticket on the number nine is like a leaf of gold, Manuel. Especially to one who has died with a less than perfect record. Someone is profiting here from those that would buy their way into heaven. But money's not important here. We all just want out. You want to get out, Manuel. And so do I someday. But for some people, this world is all there is. They have decided to seek pleasure and happiness here in the eighth underworld. And for that, you need money. Now that's all the briefing you need, soldier. Viva la revolucion! Okay, yeah, viva la revolucion! <laughs> Interesting. So we have to get... We have to get a copy of our teeth. We're not pulling our teeth out of our head, that's for damn sure. We have to get some baby pigeons. This door's open now, which is convenient. Um, yeah, we have to get a a few things to help out the resistance. What do we need? So the teeth. So this machine back in here, if I go back. Okay. So we have like a f sort of fast travel to the underground. I'm trying to think. There's a few things we need. We need the bread. We need a balloon. We need a... We need this machine. Hey, what did they do with Gladys? They kicked him out. They booted him out for driving us. This stuff here. It looks like it dispenses something called Philodent. Philodent. I need to get something to f to get a copy of my teeth. And I think I know just the thing. I'm going to go upstairs and get it. Actually, no. Not upstairs. Out here. Up the up the old... The What would you call that? A tie rope? I guess. <laughs> I don't know how you get so many tires. That's got to be like 200 tires. So there's pigeons on the roof. So we have to get there somehow. We need to cross this gap, but we can't yet. So we know Domino's distracted because he's in the office. Hmm. Dom's office is empty. It is. Let's go in. And he forgot to lock his window, which is helpful. Okay, we're in. Ooh. We didn't really get an angle from this last time. Can we look at his Let computer? Try to guess his password. Nope. It's not Golden Boy. <laughs> I'm sure there's a bunch of responses desk to that. Drawers? I don't have desk drawers. <laughs> what the? What's in there? There's something glowing in there. Glowing? It looks like a glowing hunk of coral. What is that? What is that? Doesn't do much but glow. What about this? He doesn't even hide his booze in a file cabinet. What kind of salesman is he? <laughs> I'm gonna have a drink. What kind of salesman is he? As we just knock down a drink. <laughs> I love it. Um, there, his mouth guard. How do we get that? Oh, what can we do here? What a jock! Can I smack it? It's attached pretty well. Yes. Yes. That's right. We need to knock it off the edge. Come on. Yes. And that is his mouth guard. Ugh. Domino had this in his mouth. And we've seen him use that before because we were in here earlier. I probably can't go out this way, can I? Can I go out this way? I can't go strolling through the halls now. I'm on the lamp. True. Um, is there everything we can do in here? I think so. We've checked the drawer. We've checked the computer. We've grabbed his mouth guard. We've had a drink. I think it's time to go. Out the window. Here we are. Around the side here. Now we have to do something here, because we need to get to the roof to get a pigeon. I think we can use this as a grappling hook. Use that on that. Yes. Nice. And now we can use... I wonder use... if that's how Domino meant it to be used. Doubt it. It looks horrible, whatever it is. And we attach it to this. And now we can... Cross this treacherous path. Oh! You are putting a lot of faith into those ties there, Manny. Oh! Oh my god. Alright. Can we head up here? Look at this walk, like. That was really weird. <laughs> like a little jiggle. Oh! 
I've got to do the movement myself. Whoops. Whoa. It's a big ass roof. We got our pigeons over here. I can't, I can't control anything right now. There's the eggs. We have to distract them. Oh. 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 There we go. So I think if we go near them. Whoa, they attack us because they're quite protective of their eggs. But we can use this. Ah, the pigeons obviously like this dish vent. Do they? So we can put in some bread to distract them. Select and put in some bread. We can grind it up. There we go. Jesus. Well, quick work on that big piece of bread. Uh, and then we have them come over. We, I can't do anything. Watch it! Oh, and then Get they off me. And then, they, off, birds. then they attacked me. That's not enough to distract them. I can't do anything. Okay. Oh, oh! No, 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 no! He went to walk away there. So. We've got the mouth guard, we've got that, we've got the bread, we've got Robert Frost. <laughs> he just jiggles it. If we put that in first. Maybe that will scare them. Eventually. Yes, so we want them to We want them to be spooked to get away from the eggs. So now if we cover that in that. All of it's coming back to me, which is good. And then they should fly over. They should nibble on the on the bread seed and then pop the balloon and be scared out of their little bone brains. Oh! Did it work? Yes! So scared that every single one of them left and left their eggs behind. Yeah, beat it, you lousy little ledge peckers. Ledge peckers, yep. Yeah. Alright, cool, nice. Noise! That's a noise! Grab some eggs. You must come with me, young ones, for I am the Green Reaper. Jesus. Can you grab any more? Man, are those pigeons gonna be ticked. Yeah, that, that's true. But they're not here to defend themselves, so quickly let's leave before they come back. Angrier than before. Let's head down. We can give the eggs to um, Salvador. Where are we? Oh, it's a weird angle looking down like that. Okay, we can come back down here and give them to Salvador. Agent Calavera and two guests. Oh! Those eggs were floating in his hand. Oh my god. How did they set up this whole underground thing? Oh my god. Okay. Coming. Check these babies out. Excellent, Manuel. With these, I can breed an entire army of winged messengers. Our revolution can spread now across the land, carried on the shimmering wings of justice, thanks to they're you. Only, they're only dead pigeons. Agent Calavera. I myself would also like to spread across the land. But you can't. We need your dental work here to access the computer. I am sorry, but freedom has its price. Okay, so the last puzzle we have to solve is my teeth. Which will be solved in a matter of seconds. Because we've got his mouth guard. We just need to fill it with philodent, stick it into our teeth to get an impression, and we're all good to go. Which is nice. Oh. 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 Jesus, like four different camera angles just to get here. Okay, so let's get out our mouth guards. And use it. There we go, and then we use it on our teeth. Good for dents, great for dentures. Can we use it on our face? Yep. There we go. Wow, that made a perfect impression of my teeth. I hope so. Quite a chalky aftertaste too. Yeah, that stuff's not nice. I've had I've had braces, and that stuff they give you to do the in initial impression on your teeth is it feels weird. It's all rubbery and chalky and gross. But worth it. Definitely worth it. Alright, cool. Let's head back. Agent Calavera here. Agent Caravella. 
Down we go! Hello! Hello, Salvador! Look, you got the eggs you wanted. Oh. Now can I go? Sorry. Viva la revolucion! Viva, yes! No, I need I need to get out me uh me toothy pegs. Where's my teeth? There it is. There we go. Take my teeth. I'm not sure what to make of that. Why don't you show it to my intelligence officer? Okay. G calm down, my dude. Manny, this looks like a perfect impression of your teeth. We can use this as a mold to make a fake set of teeth and get into the computer system that way. That is Good the work, idea. Soldier. All right. You are a friend of the revolution, Agent Calavera. And now... Let me be of service to you. You must go to the town of Rubacaba, my friend. If you want to find your lost soul, how do you know where she is? I don't. But everyone who wants to get to the Ninth Underworld must cross the Sea of Lament. Oh, we've changed our suit. Therefore, must go to Rubacaba to get passage on a ship. As long as you get there before she does, you'll find her. But it may be quite a wait. I'll wait as long as it takes. Manuel, are you in love with her? Love? Love is for the living, Sal. I'm only after her for one reason. She's my ticket out of here. Fair enough. Oh. How, how did he get in there? There's no gap to get in that there. That was some tunnel. I'm all the way to the edge of the petrified forest. Sounds pretty spooky too. Okay, we've got a new suit. We're part of the Viva la Rev Revolution. I can't even speak. Um, yeah, this game's fantastic. I'm remembering all the puzzles, which is good because I remember when I first played through them, they were hard as nails. Really, they were really difficult. Um, so if you happen to catch this, let me know what you thought. All that good stuff. I'm going to keep playing this because I do love this game. It's fantastic. Still more to come. Um, like, subscribe, all that good stuff if you're new. And as always, uh, a good bee.